Welcome, Dr. Mandel here. You get up in the morning, you're stiff, you've been sleeping six to eight hours. This is a great morning postural stretch that we're gonna take you through. We're gonna do many different stretches, but we're gonna get our body prepared for the day so we can continue to have that good posture. First thing, arms by your side, hands facing forward. You're gonna stand up tall. First thing is concentrate on bringing your ears over your shoulders. First thing I want you to do is just go ahead and lift up the shoulders and pull them back. Good, lift them up, pull them back, pull them back for about 15 seconds. Thumbs up and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna bring it back like this, little circles. I don't want you going forward, I only want you going backwards. Keep the thumbs out, okay? I only want you going backwards because if we go forwards, we're gonna start using the opposite muscles. These are muscles, primarily the retractor muscles or the rhomboids between the shoulder blades. Arms by your side. Now what I want you to do is grab the bottom of your collarbone right here, okay? And pull it down and look up. Good, it's gonna burn, it's gonna stretch, all those anterior or front muscles of that neck is nice and stretched. That's very important when it comes to forward head posture. Good. Next, let's take our hands, put it behind our skull, put your chin to your chest, and let's pull up and around. Good. You'll feel a nice stretch underneath the back of the skull. You're gonna pull up and around. Hold it there about 15 seconds. Turn your head to the, to the left or right, whichever is easier for you. Push over and around about 15 seconds. Good. Then we'll go the other side and push up and over. 15 seconds. And you'll feel a nice stretch underneath the back of the skull to reduce that contracture in the suboccipital area. Very simple. You're gonna pull your head to one side, hold it there about eight, seven or eight seconds. You'll do the other side, seven to eight seconds. Good. Now what I'd like you to do, I want you to keep your hands forward I want you to bring your shoulder blades back together and push them down into your back pocket. Stick your chest upwards, keep your ears over your shoulder, and just hold that for about 10, 15 seconds. You can relax. Shoulders back, take the shoulder blades, put it into the back pocket. Okay, about 10, 15 seconds. Keep pushing it down and we'll do one more. Relax, shoulder blades together, push those shoulders down and back into the back pocket, hold it there, and you'll really feel nice burning between those shoulder blades. Excellent to contract those rhomboids and get those retractors kicking. So let's get those scalenus muscles on the right side. We're going to lean our head to the left, take our right hand, put it behind our back, take our left hand, grab our wrist, of that right arm and push it down. You're gonna pull that arm down as you look over to the left. Good, you'll feel nice deep burning in there. Good, nice deep burning as you just lean your head to the left as you're taking your left hand, grabbing your right wrist and pulling that arm down. Good, about 15, 20 seconds. Now we're gonna go ahead and lean our head to the right. We're gonna take our right hand, grab the wrist of our uh, left, grab our left wrist on our left arm, pull it down and lean over. As you pull that left shoulder down on that left arm, you're gonna lean over to the right side. You'll feel the whole left side really start to stretch. That's very important to keep those muscles nice and uh, elongated. Now take your hand, put it level underneath your chin. I want you to just bring your chin back as we're doing a chin tuck. 
and I want you to hold it there about 20 seconds. Good. Just keep pushing it back. Hold it there 20 seconds. This is what just coming back from the side like this. And you'll feel those muscles really contract. Relax. The reason why we put the hand here is so we keep the head level. Where we don't want it extended or flexed. Let's go ahead and do a chin tuck again. Keep pushing back 20 seconds. And you'll start to feel contracture and tightening in the front of the throat area. That's what we want. We want to really get those anterior neck flexors nice and strong. That will prevent that forward head posture. Relax. Straight back again. Really feel that contracture like 20 seconds. We're doing three sets of 20 seconds, about a minute of the chin tucks, and you'll just hold it there. Excellent. Now I'd like you to bring your arms up at 90 degrees, okay? Hands facing forward. And I want you just to externally rotate the shoulders. All I'm gonna do here is I'm just going just like this, like I'm ready to fall back, but we're bringing our arms straight back. And you're gonna feel burning in front of the shoulder, even in the chest area. Go back as far as you can go and just hold that stretch for a good 20 seconds. That's opening up the pectoralis muscles, uh, releasing the external rotators to get them to open up as we're actually opening up the whole chest shoulder component. Excellent to prevent forward head posture and forward rounded shoulders. You'll feel nice burning in there. Excellent. And the last great stretch is just take your right hand, put it on your left shoulder, push it down. I want you just to lean your ear towards your opposite shoulder in the front of that shoulder. So we're not going laterally, we're going 45 degrees forward. And as you push that shoulder down, you're gonna feel the anterior muscles of the scalenus, you'll even feel the SCM muscles really open up and stretch. You'll hold that stretch for about 20 seconds. Very great stretch, it's excellent. And then you release. Switch hands, I'll take my left hand, put it on my right shoulder, push it down, and, and lean your ear 45 degrees forward towards your front of your left shoulder. And as you hold that right shoulder down, you'll feel the opposite muscles on the same side as the shoulder you're holding down, a nice burning, let that fall all the way over. Those muscles are nice and tight in there and that will release and elongate those contracted muscles. Excellent. Do these stretches every day. You'll be amazed that when you elongate these contracted muscles, it's gonna prevent you from pronating forward, rounding the shoulders, as well as hopefully help you a lot with your forward head posture. Share this video on your social media. Check me out, Motivational Doc, on Facebook. Leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.